Alright, what's up guys? It's your boy D Breezy up in this bitch. And uh coming to you tonight with a review of Halo Infinite. I know that I'm what, like eight months late, I think, <laughs> after the game came out, but uh I don't know, I figured I'd do this review and just kinda give my opinion on it. It's the first video I've made in a while. Um in fact, I think my last video I did was me streaming this campaign. So, if you did watch that video, I greatly appreciate it, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll enjoy this one. Um, I'm going to try to just kind of show just standard gameplay here, and try not to spoil anything. Um, yeah, the gun I'm holding right now, there's the assault rifle. Uh, but this gun right here, the Commando, this is my favorite new gun in this game. I don't think it's been in any of the other games that I know of. Um, but uh, yeah, let's get into the game. Um, I see a lot of people, like a ton of people, hating on Halo Infinite for some reason, and I just don't understand why. You know, granted it was delayed, you know, co-op campaign is just now coming out, things like that. So there were some development issues, but honestly with the final actual product that we received, it's just absolutely phenomenal. I loved pretty much everything about it. Um, I beat the campaign, I want to say about a month ago, maybe a little over a month. Yeah, the story is incredible. The graphics you can see are absolutely fantastic. Um, the new like open world design for this game where you can just explore the entire Halo ring. It's just absolutely incredible. It's I will go ahead and say that Halo Infinite has the best gameplay out of any Halo game. And I've, I've played and beat all of them except for Halo Wars 2. I need to play that but um yeah, as far as gameplay, this is the best Halo experience I've ever had. I enjoyed this very much. Um, let's call it a vehicle, so we can just kind of ride around here. So, without spoiling too much, this is called a FOB. It's a forward operating base. And there's several of these around the map. You can just kind of find each one and, you know, claim it. And basically what you can do here is you can, you know, pick which weapons you want to use from these boxes. And you can also spawn in different vehicles to use. So for now we'll just get a simple... We'll just get a Warthog, whatever. Hey, I'm on my way with that warthog you requisitioned. Yeah, so you'll just call it in and they'll come in and drop it for you. By the way, I know it's a different game, but can use the Warthog in Forza Horizon 5, and that's so much fun. I'm thinking about doing a review for that game as well, I just finished it recently. But yeah, we're in the Warthog here, and like I said, it's completely open world, so I'll pull the map up here. And yeah, any of this map that you see right here, and over here, all of this map you can go to at any time. There's no loading screens or you're not like blocked from going anywhere. Or you can do anything, go anywhere, fight anything at any time. And it's just, I love it. It was a great new design choice for the franchise. Oh shit. <laughs> well, cowabunga dudes. That was fun. Up. I've got I'm trying to talk and review at the same time. But, uh... the hell is that? Anyway. <laughs> getting off track here. But yeah, the open world and the gameplay, the shooting, all that. This is the best that Halo has ever been, in my opinion. Um, it's just a lot of fun. And with the story, I'm not going to spoil anything. Uh, but obviously you're on a Halo ring. Um, this is a new one hey, that hey, Chief has never been to in the games. 
It's either called Installation 6 or Installation 8. I believe it's 8, but I could be wrong about that. I apologize. Um, it's been a little while since I beat the game. But uh, yeah, I would say my two negatives for the game are um, in the campaign towards the end, and I'm not going to spoil the story, but um, basically you get to this fortress and the enemies are there. And it's basically just like a bunch of waves of enemies you have to defeat. And I, lost contact. Get out I just did not like that section at all. Some people like my, you know, can't talk. Some people might like, you know, wave based games like that. And I do sometimes. For some combat. But, um, oh shit. We're gonna get out of here so I can talk. But, uh,. Yeah, some people might like that, but to me it just kind of felt shoved in there and unnecessary to kind of just make the campaign mission a little bit longer. You know what I mean? So that was just kind of stupid to me. So I'd say I'd take off a 0.5 for that, or a 0.25 I should say. So that's only my real complaint with the campaign. You know, the story is fantastic. Gameplay is awesome. You know, I love this game. And... So my only other complaint would be with the multiplayer. It's free to play, which is nice. So if you have an Xbox or a PC, download the multiplayer and try it out. It's a lot of fun. But my only complaint with multiplayer is that it's in seasons. And I, yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that, you know, say a new season comes out and they'll change the modes or get rid of modes or, you know, whatever. They'll change things. And... You know, they'll add stuff or take stuff away, and that's kind of annoying to me. And also with, like, cosmetic armor and, you know, gun camos and stuff, and guns and weapons and whatever, you can only, or even some modes, you can only access some of this stuff in one particular season. So, let's say I don't play the game for six months or whatever, and I'm playing other things and, you know, doing whatever, and then I come back. If I miss an entire season, there's no way to play those exclusive modes or go back and unlock the armor and all the other stuff. It's just, that's it. You just missed out on it, and that's very stupid to me. Like right now, when um, the game first came out, it had, um, forget what the mode's called, but it's basically Free For All Slayer. And I loved it, I played it a ton, and now it's not in the game to my current knowledge I haven't played multiplayer in a couple weeks but when the new season just came out they took it out of the playlist and that was just stupid to me and with Slayer it's either a regular Slayer or battle rifle Slayer and just my personal opinion I don't like the battle rifle I'm sorry I know a lot of people love it but I'm not one of them and you can't choose which of the two Slayer types you want to play. It's just a mix of both. So sometimes I might get stuck playing Battle Rifle Slayer and it's just not fun to me. And that's, you know, kind of a complaint. So I would give another 0.25 off for that. But really, those are my only two complaints in the game. Um, well, no, there's one more, but I won't deduct any points for from it for this. But, um... It's kind of a spoiler, but not that big of a deal. I don't think to me people are going to care. But for me, I was very upset to find out that the Forerunner Prometheans, those enemies and those weapons are not in this game at all, to my knowledge. So there's no, <clears throat> excuse me, you can't use the scatter shot, you know, the shotgun. None of those weapons are in the game. None of the Forerunner enemies are in the game that are in Halo 4 and 5. Oh, and I'll show one thing that's cool. One new thing in this game is the grapple hook. So you can kind of grapple around, and also there are these new boxes. You can, like, throw at enemies, and they explode. Yeah, the grapple hook's a lot of fun. You can grapple weapons and pull them to you, or you can grapple yourself to vehicles. Right, let's see if we can find the Warthog. I'll try it. But, um, yeah, getting off track here, but... Yeah, the Prometheans are not in this game. 
at all and that really pissed me off because personally my favorite Halo game is um, Halo 4 and that's when the Prometheans were introduced and just between the gameplay and the story Halo 4 is my favorite I love that game so much so the fact that the Prometheans are gone now and weren't in this game at all just kind of pissed me off. It was just stupid. Why do you have them in the first two games of this trilogy and then not in Halo Infinite, Halo 6, whatever you want to call it? I really like those weapons and the enemies, so hopefully in the next Halo game they'll bring those back. Because it was cool to have something different than just the Covenant, you know? And in this game you're fighting the Banished, but... They're basically just a covenant, if we're honest here. They're not that much different. So I don't know, that really did bother me. But that was just an artistic choice. And it's not a fault with the game, so I'm not going to take any points off for that. You know, that's just a creative decision from the development team. So, I don't know why they took it out, but they did. And it sucked. But, um... Yeah, like I said, I'm not trying to travel too far around the map or show much of anything because I don't want to spoil it because I do highly recommend this I'm game you, and everyone should play it even though I'm sure everyone that's wanted to play it has by now. It's been eight months. I know I'm really late with this review but I didn't play it for a long time. I played the multiplayer when it first came out but for some reason the campaign I just waited a bit. Luckily I didn't see any spoilers before I played. Oh uh, shit. That was awesome, actually. That was fun. Did some damage. But yeah, I have really no major complaints with the game. Like oh, I said, it was just the, the multiplayer being in seasons and things changing randomly with the season changes. I don't like that at all. And also just the, you know, wave, spawn waves of enemies, kill them all at the, towards the end of the game, I really did not like. Just felt like it was just kind of added in to inflate the campaign time and it just pissed me off um you know there's games like I think it's called Killing Floor 2 where it's just wave based gameplay and when that's your full game that's fine I like that game but like this it just kind of felt shoved in to make the campaign longer and I just thought it was really stupid so I would say overall I would give this game a 9.5 out of 10. The story is great. The gameplay is the best that Halo has ever been. I love the open world design and I hope they continue this with each Halo game going forward. And I hope with Halo 7 they do bring the Prometheans back in some way. Because I, I did ready miss ready that very much. Um, I'm ready for some payback. Yes, I'd give it a 9.5 out of 10. It's my second favorite Not Halo game. My favorite still Halo 4, because between the weapons and enemies and the story, it was just perfect. So yeah, it's my second favorite Halo, 9.5 out of 10, but um, it would possibly be my favorite game of the year for 2021. I would have to go back and see what other games I played to compare. I don't really remember. I didn't play too many full games last year, but I'll have to look into that, but yeah, possibly my game of the year last year. It was absolutely incredible. I highly recommend you playing this. If you have Game Pass, it's technically, you know, free on there if you have Game Pass. So download it, try it out. And even if you don't, like I said, the multiplayer is free to play. So at least download that if you have an Xbox or PC. Try it out. It's a lot of fun. The multiplayer, you'll be sucked into that for hours on end. And with the campaign, too. The campaign is phenomenal. I think it was... I'd have to look, but at least 10 hours, I'd say, is pretty decent length, I'd say, compared to, like, Call of Duty or something. And I had a lot of fun with it. Yeah, I highly recommend the game. Um, if you ever want to play some Halo multiplayer or anything online, just hit me up. And we'll, you know, we'll figure something out. We'll schedule a time. And, uh, yeah. I hope you're having a great day. Uh... This is my first kind of live stream that's just a review. <laughs> so I'm sorry for my voice being fucked up and just kind of being random and all over the place. But I really, I've been wanting to get this review out for like a month. 
and I'm finally forcing myself to do it. And here it is. Uh, I am streaming this on Twitch right now, but I will also upload it to YouTube. And I think my next video is going to be a review of Forza Horizon 5. But uh, I would like to buy and play the Hot Wheels DLC first that just came out. Yeah, I do plan on doing a review of that at some point. So, hopefully I'll be back with some content soon. I've kind of been feeling like shit lately, so I haven't been playing that many games. And I just haven't felt like live streaming, so I haven't. But I'd really like to get back into it soon. Yeah, Halo Infinite 9.5 out of 10. My second favorite Halo game, and it's just incredible. Go play it right now. And uh, yeah, I think that's it for me. I um, hope you're all doing well. With all the, you know, COVID and all the other shit going on right now. It's The world is still crazy. But I hope that you and your families are doing well and that you're getting through it. And play some games. Take your mind off of everything. I think that video games for me is the best form of entertainment. Come on, Chief! Because it's like... It's like, you know, games and movies and everything all rolled into one, and music. So it's... Video games are a great escape for me, I think. They're a lot of fun. I've been playing them my whole life, and I love it. So yeah, play this game, check it out. I hope you're all doing well, and that you'll have a great day. Peace. And thanks for watching this video.